I'm going to clean up this rear beam next. Now, I'm not going to do the, the hubs at this point, um, as I still have access to them when this is fitted back up on the car. So I'm going to concentrate on this area here, which will be uh, inaccessible when it's bolted up on the car. And uh, these can be done later when I have the, the rest of the brakes uh, hooked up again. First thing I need to do is remove these shocks. Now, it would probably make sense to uh, renew these shocks, but I actually bought these uh, back in 1999 uh, for um, the Black Cadet, and I had them on it for a number of years. So uh, they have, they're one of the first parts I ever bought new for a car. They actually recently passed, um, they were evenly enough balanced in their, their last uh, NCT, so um, I'm going to clean them up and give them a try again. That's all clean now, so I'm going to give it a coat of the rust primer too. I'm going to clean these shocks and springs up as well before I put them back on the car. They cleaned up well, and I can paint them now. With these rear arches, I'm just going to use some more of the, the rust primer paint. Um, but I'm only going to do it on the areas um, that I've exposed, because there's a really good solid um, underseal still on this. And I'm fairly satisfied that it's not that it wasn't put on as a concealing exercise because everything seems to be solid there's no traces of filler or anything like that so i am i'm happy enough to to let that stay and just touch up around it There's a bit more to do on this side because it's the side that the fuel filler neck goes. When that's had time to dry, it'll be ready for a layer of underseal. The red primer's had a couple of days to dry now, so it's ready for a new coat of underseal. I'm going to lay it on thick in the areas where it had rubbed off and just a thin layer over the, the old under seal which is still in pretty good shape. I've been around and done the other side and I'm just finishing the first side now with the second coat. That's looking a lot better now. If you're enjoying my videos, don't forget to like and share them, and if you want to hear about the latest ones, you can click the subscribe button below.